Today, we're going to look at how you can install a VM on your newly installed VMware EXXI server. On our previous demonstration, uh, we look at how you can install the VMware EXXI server on a um, uh, bare metal system and how you can configure some of the basic customization settings. Now, in order to install a VM, what we're going to do is we're going to use the web GUI to access the e VMware EXXI server. To find your web GUI management IP address, you can look at the console screen and you should see your IP address on the center. And in my situation, it is 192.168.26.8. And uh, you should check whatever you have uh, here display for your management IP address. We will be using this IP address to access your VMware web GUI. And if you have set up a static IP address, uh, it should still show up here. And if you are in a lab environment, uh, you might have a DHCP IP address like I do. Once you know your uh, D, uh, DHCP or static IP address for your management web GUI, open a web browser. I'm, I will be using Google Chrome. I would recommend using either Google Chrome or Firefox. And we're going to enter that IP address. So in mine, it's 192.168.26.8. And you will be most likely greeted with this SSL TLS uh, error message saying it's the connection is not secure. As I mentioned in my previous video, you're just going to go to advanced and then say proceed uh, because we know it is our server. And the reason why you get that uh, not secure message is because we have self-assigned SSL TLS, certif TLS certificate for our own server. So remember, to enter to your server, uh, your username is root and your password is whatever the password you have set up uh, during installation process. Once you have logged in, you will end up on the main page of the EXXI uh, web GUI and it would look like this. And on the left hand side, you will have your familiar navigator uh, options. And what we're going to select from there is the virtual machines. The virtual machine section will list all your virtual machines that you have already created. And it will also have the option to create or register a new VM at the top. And that's what we're going to choose. And it will get you to the window for new virtual machines. And we will go through the process of creation, creating it. One of the unique things about the EXXI server is that you don't actually need to download the Ubuntu, for example, Ubuntu ISO. It has the ability to pull that ISO directly from the internet as it installs. And I, we will show, uh, look at that how and how it works uh, as we go through the installation process. On the select creation type window, you have three options. One is the create a new virtual machines. Next one is the deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file. And the last one is the register an existing virtual machine. I will go through each one of these options on my future videos. For today, we will be going through the option called the create a new virtual machine. Select that option and then select next and give it a name. So because we're going to install a Ubuntu server, so we're going to, I'm going to just name it as Ubuntu. Ubuntu x64 because it's a 64-bit version but you can pick whatever the name you like this will allow you to identify your vm on the v virtual machines page as you have multiple uh, as you end up getting more uh, multiple vms installed onto your exxi server and it also you uh, will be used as the folder name to uh, install all the files associated with this particular vm under compatibility, you can pick previous versions of the EXXI or you can go with the, the latest one. If you are installing for the first time and this is your first VM, I would recommend uh, staying with the latest version. Under the guest OS, here's another unique thing about the EXXI uh, as opposed to their VMware, uh, this option uh, for hypervisors. It has the built-in ability to support uh, Mac OS versions, which I will go through in a different video. 
but for today we will be be picking the linux but remember the vmware workstation desktop version which is a type 2 hypervisor do not have the mac os uh, support uh, without doing some tinkering with it and i will go through both of them how to do that uh, later but for exxi bare metal servers uh, this uh, exxi uh, server you do have the mac os support built into it as well but for now today we're going to pick the linux and we're going to pick the option called the ubuntu 64 bit next and under storage you can select the storage that you have and if you just install the exxi you probably have just the data store one i will show you how you can add additional data stores and expand this um, uh, low capacity data store uh, i intentionally kept the data store very low to show you some uh, configuration warnings and options so we're going to select the only data store available to us and then we're going to click next and because my data store is so low you i'm going to get an error message not an error message a warning saying that we don't have enough space to install the vm this is a good point uh, to talk about the div differences between theme prevision, tick prevision uh, options. What the theme prevision does is it just install the, uh, the VM, but it will, not, uh, will only use what it needs for now, and it will not allocate all the uh, storage space that it is required to run all the options. But however, as you start installing options uh, and expanding your VM, uh, it will start... Uh, dynamically allocate uh, storage space right now i have a very small hard drive space uh, storage space so i'm going to go with the theme prevision and i will explain how theme prevision and thick prevision works uh, in depth in a different video what i need you to focus on here on the customized uh, settings is that you have the option to pick thick and theme prevision you can change the memory allocation you can change the hard drive allocations and you can also add additional devices up here. And remember how I told you something unique about the EXXI is that you don't even need to give you the uh, give them the uh, ISO um, image on the CD because the EXXI server EXXI seven have the ability to pull uh, that Ubuntu free version of the ISO directly from the internet. So what we're gonna do we're gonna keep all of these things as default and if you select the vm options you ha also have some uh, options that you can change here again i will not go into depth of the power management boot options uh, some advanced configurations in here in this video for now we're just going to go ahead and keep everything in default but we're just going to select the theme prevision and we're going to click next it will give you a summary of what you are going to do and as I mentioned before, I will explain how you can expand your data store on a later video. But for now, we're just going to click finish. This will result in a item added under the virtual machines, which is your newly created Ubuntu 64. However, this is not installed yet. So to install, what we're going to do is we're going to select that VM. And that will give you the option to turn that VM on. You also notice that the use space is showing up as zero, uh, zero, like there are no use uh, gigabyte or megabytes uh, allocated to this VM. That is because we have selected uh, the thin prevision VM option. As I mentioned before, I will go through other options and how you can expand the data store, for example. But for now, select your newly created VM and select power on and then if you click on this image right here it'll give you the option to you know pull the vm up like this and then you can go through the installation process and that's everything for now on my next future videos i will show you how you can expand the data store from going from having a very small capacity to you know increase your data store to a larger capacity as well as how you can install other operating systems on exxi server until next time please remember to subscribe and thumbs up 
and have a nice day.